Good listening is an integral part of Chinese etiquette. They try to accommodate the interlocutor's desires in their sentences, and it doesn't matter if this will continue to be fulfilled or not. They react to what they hear. A Chinese speaker's manner and the way he speaks is more important than what he actually says. This is a classic high-context culture. Hello, dear everyone. My name is Anastasia Shevchenko. I'm an expert in intercultural communications and director of La Classe. And today we will talk about how the ability to listen and negotiate between representatives of Hong Kong and China is different. As for the presentation of information, here our Chinese comrades are quite extroverted thanks to their historical extensive contacts with the West. Delegations often come to meetings. Everyone participates in negotiations altogether, but the decision makers rarely at such meetings. Listen carefully, weave lace and drain the negotiators is a very accurate description of how the Chinese negotiate. As for Hong Kong, people speak there even faster than in China. Their goal is to isolate the essence and come to a deal as quickly as possible. With foreigners, their style of communication is Western not Asian, and the approach to them should be the same. They are very direct, but at the same time, of course, they care about preserving the face of each of the participants. In Hong Kong, entrepreneurship is in the blood. It gives a sense of urgency, host. They listen quickly, isolate facts, competences, time is important for them, because time is money. This is I'm glad to read your comments and, of course, subscribe to the Intercultural Communication channel, the most open and intercultural YouTube channel. Interculturally yours, Anastasia Shevchenko. Thank you.